Hi, I'm Ryan and welcome to MB Tech TV where we like to help you find affordable products faster. Now, we are all in the hunt to find the best products at an affordable price tag. Smart watches can come in various shapes, sizes, specs, and the one that we're looking at today fits all those boxes. So for those that want fitness trackers, they want a good look and they want it affordable, that definitely does fit all of them. We are looking at the Samsung Galaxy Active Watch 2 clone, the SG2 smartwatch. So we are looking at the SG2 smartwatch, a Samsung Galaxy Active Watch to clone this has been sent in to us uh, from our friends at foreverstore.co of course we will leave all of their details down in the description below uh, for you to check out when you want to have a look so go and have a look at those go and check them out as well uh, so right here on the table the sg2 excited to see it i have been testing it for a few days as well and i'll let you know the feedback on that in just a second so looking at the box presentation of it kind of really plain really simple as you can see you've just got the shimmer we've got this kind of small design there of what it would potentially look like uh, watch sg2 just on the back there and then nothing else on board the watch now the watch itself does come in a couple of colors you can get them in gold you can get them in black and you can get them in silver, kind of a silver white as well. So a variety of colors for you to choose from. So let's jump in and take a little look. So as you open it up straight away, you are greeted by the watch itself and the watch straps. Now the watch straps you get with it are a silicon base, but you can get a stainless steel option um, and you can buy loads of them from places like AliExpress, uh, Gearbest, online, Amazon. You can buy from a variety of places. So we'll come and visit those in just a second. When you delve in a bit deeper, let's lift up these tabs and have a look. So of course you get the charging puck, which is a magnetic charging puck, which we'll, I'll show you in a second. Um, USB on there. And of course uh, you do get your user manual, which of course you can have a little read, uh, or as we like to call it, it's a toilet reading material. So you can go and check it out when you've got a few minutes spare, have a look. Um, the watch itself, like I mentioned earlier, those silicon straps feel actually they're quite comfortable. I've had the watch, I've been trialing it for three days solid um, and wearing it to bed, having a shower, the, the kind of stuff that you would normally use one of these watches for. And I've got to say, no irritation, no rubbing, didn't feel uncomfortable. And I've got quite hairy wrists and there was no kind of pulling on it. So for me, that's a winner, that's not too bad. Um, and with it being the 20 millimeter option as well, uh, interchangeable and you can change them to whatever you want. So perhaps if this was for me, I'd go for the fabric version over the kind of the silicon ones. But if I was to come, you know, even if, if I was just to wear the watch without buying the extras, this is the one for me. Uh, so then you are presented with, let's take the cover off. Then you are presented with the watch itself. Now look at that. Nice build, doesn't feel cheap, it does feel it does feel really good. It does feel like a really good quality. Um, let's take you around briefly. So as you can see with this one, and this is one thing why I like this one, some smartwatches claim that they have this full rounded display uh, when in fact they don't. It's a round screen, but with a square LCD panel behind it. So you don't get that full screen experience. Whereas this, it is that absolute full screen experience that you get on it. The screen itself is a Super Retina AMOLED display, 1.22 inch full touchable round screen display. It's got this spherical full touch screen, anti fingerprint, and it only weighs 0.049 kilograms as well. So again, nice and light on the wrist, which is always lovely to see. Uh, on the sides, you've got your back button or you kind of return to home. As soon as you press that, it'll bring you to the home and then into the menu, which you'll see in a sec. Uh, and then you've got your back button and your power button just on there. As you turn it over, you can see there it's got that heart rate monitor just on the back. And then really there is nothing else about it. They've kept it plain and simple, not over ambiguous. It's not a big massive watch. It's nice and it looks great as well. Uh, so let's boot it up though and show you exactly what it does. So by a simple press of the bottom button, you greet it there, 
and you are straight into the watch itself. So as you can see, it's got that lovely round full display. That for me is a big winner. There are watches we've seen and watches we've viewed where they've got massive bezels around the side, they've got big chins on them. Whereas this, yes, there is a small bezel around the side, but otherwise it's a big, full, beautiful display. Now, speaking about the display itself, you do get obviously a couple of watch faces on board the watch that you can change yourself. And it's as simple as you press the middle and then you simply swipe across to the desired watch face that you think would suit you. So you just swipe across this one and there are a couple to choose from as well. Now using the partner app that you get with it, you are able to download and change those. Once the video has been created for that, you'll see a card just in the top corner right about now. Um, so if you wanna see how to do that, go and click on that one and go and check it out. So there's, you can see it's really personable that you can change the straps to suit you to you. You can also then change the watch face to suit exactly what you want in the watch face itself. So when we're going to take you now step by step through the menu and exactly what you get with the watch. So from a simple swipe down from the top, you've got your connectivity button there showing that this is currently connected to my device. You can control the brightness on the screen. Now, I don't know how well you can see that, but that's the lowest. Then we'll tilt it up one more and then press it full and you get that full screen display there. Down here at the bottom, you've got your QR code. And then here is your battery life on board the, uh, the watch as well, your battery life indicator. Now, they do claim that you can get um, seven days of full continuous use out of the watch, out of the actual battery itself. I've charged it up full, which took from when I had it, took about an hour and a half, about an hour and a half, hour and 40 minutes to get a full charge. And so far, bear in mind, I've been using this, it's been turned on, I've been using it to sleep in, showering. Today's day three. Um, of using it and you ha barely has used any battery whatsoever so I think the brand already lives up to its word in terms of the battery on it which is really good to see um, in a cheap smartwatch that um, it's like they almost keep to the word so it's, it's always really really good to see battery on it is a 250 milliamp hour battery so a decent size in a smartwatch which will get you through so far it's doing me well let's see i mean and bearing in mind i've done sports modes on it as well and it's still handling that it does my daily ecgs um which i'll come on to in just a second and uh, so the watch itself so as you go swipe up from the bottom you're greeted by your weather or your daily weather so you can see here in the uk in manchester where we are a bit cold i would like it a little bit warmer uh, in my opinion um on the watch you do get notifications from things like Facebook, WhatsApp, um, and other kind of messages that you get from your device. And you can control that using the H Plus app, uh, which is the partner app that works in partnership with the watch itself. Um, and to access them, you literally just swipe, and there you are. And then you're greeted by, it'll hold seven at a time, so your more recent one will always be at the top. But you'll see that it just has them just there. You don't get the full message, so you can't click on it and see all of it. It just gives you, like a lot of the typical smartwatches do, it will give you just a couple of lines, just enough for you to lift your wrist and go, am I gonna take my phone out of my pocket? No, I'm not, or yes, I am. Um, so you do get those notifications on there. Swiping then, swipe to the, you kind of continually swipe, so I'm gonna swipe, and there is your step counter, which is very accurate, I've noticed, from being around the house. I've shook it, I've done all sorts, and it's actually very, Accurate or as accurate as you're going to get in one of these kind of budget smart watches. You swipe again, this is your sleeping pattern, similar to what you see on the Samsung Galaxy Active Watch. It'll tell you about your deep sleep, your light sleep, uh, and the kind of the total amount that you've slept as well. If you track things like your sleeping patterns, uh, that's really good because again, the information from here gets synced over to the H Plus app and you can monitor that as well if you've got any possibly any health concerns or anything like that. When you swipe across then you're greeted by a couple of other menus so you've got your heart rate your bp your sports o2 and your ecg 
all really good options and they all work. So from there, let's measure my BP. Bear in mind what I use this for, it tracks it all the way throughout the day. Um, so I can see a graph of my BP during the day so you can see when I was running, where you can see if I was running around with the children in the garden or just sitting down and relaxing. Um, always, I'm, I always find things like that are always really handy to have um, a monitor, there we go. And you'll also see it gives you a little light just on the back there, just to show you that it's trying to read uh, read it there as well. Uh, you get your ECG. Let's give that a whirl. But again, and there you go, it saved it. So now that'll save that now and record it onto the app and then I can look back and look at that later. So if you do have health concerns or um, you love recording stuff like this when you're at the gym, it's a great asset to have. So they all work absolutely perfectly. When you carry on swiping, then you are greeted with a host of um, different modes or different sports modes that may suit what you do as a sport. So you see you're greeted there with a very similar, what you would see on an active watch. So there are a ton to choose from. So you've got from running, uh, walking, cycling. Um, what else have we got? You've got ping pong, if you want to record that. Badminton, basketball, skipping, running, and we're back to there. So there's a host of stuff that you can record. I mean, you can go into your history, there's a swimming mode on there, yoga, you can record any sort of yoga stuff as well. So if you're really into your fitness, then you can possibly record things like this. So for example, if it may show you the one that I had on here, so it was walking. So there you go, now it's gonna try and record my walking pace, so then it will record the time that you do it, the steps, calories, BPM, um, and distances, it, it collects a whole lot of information and then sends that through to your app to record later on as well. Now the watch doesn't have GPS unfortunately, so if you do run um, and you want to utilize it for a, a, a specific running app, it doesn't do that. Uh, but what it does have is IP68 certified. So again, I've been showering in it, I've been bathing the children in it, um, and it, of course if you're going out and running and it's raining, you've got no problems there whatsoever. So again, you have all those options that help you to record all of your sports modes. Let's go back out of that and we swipe again. And then you're greeted by your play, pause, and of course by looking at it, you know that here you can control the music that is on your device. I have tried to use it alongside to see if it would control Spotify. It hasn't worked so far. If it does, I will let you know in the comments, so have a look there. Um, but if you have music already on your device, then this will control uh, the music on there as well. So from your, your play, forward, back, you can go into your music there or turn the volume up and down. I'm hoping I can try and figure out a little bit later how it controls it, or perhaps if you're watching this and you've got this already, um, let us know. If you've managed to figure that out, let us know so far. Let us know, because it'll always be great to see. Uh, so from there, you then go into another menu, again, in that very similar layout that we're very familiar to. Once you tap the middle, it'll open it up a bit more. So you've got the find where you can find your device. So if you lose your device somewhere and vice versa, you can do that. Information, you can tap on that and it will give you the information of the actual watch itself. You can set your alarm clocks there, perhaps if you, or you can do it, if you can't do it through the watch, you can do it through the app as well and they talk to each other there. Stopwatch. What smartwatch doesn't have a stopwatch? Um, but again, very jazzed up. So if you need a stopwatch, you've got one right there. Uh, moving on, a countdown timer. So very similar to what you have on your smartphones. If you want that, you know, you may be cooking um, or you may need it for something else. You have the smart, uh, the countdown timer option available on board the watch. So as you can see, it's got a whole host of features and benefits um, for a great smartwatch. Now, for a long time, I've been looking for a Samsung Active Watch clone, and now that we finally got one, I feel like this personally is a great asset, and especially at the price point that it is as well, because on the foreverstore.co website, uh, you can pick it up for, I think it was $109 uh, US dollars with free delivery as well, worldwide delivery. Um, but they also have this amazing feature, which is, called the forever warranty, where if you lose, you break or damage the watch in any way, 
you get a replacement instantly. And that is all part of the cost that you've already paid. How many times have you lost a watch? How many times have you broken, damaged it, or even been stolen? You can simply head over to their website, keep all your receipts and proof of purchase. You may have to pay a small fee for, um, I think, for admin charges. I think it's something like $20. Um, and then you get another one instantly. And that is all part of the service that you get from foreverstore.co. I mean, so far, the watch itself, the battery life is incredible. It's IP68 certified, you know, wireless charging. So you can simply, I do have a wireless charger. So let's pop it into the wireless charger just to show. So let's pop it in there and you literally, and it starts to charge. You can see there's a little green indicator just on the side of the device here. And that's as simple as that. And that's how it charges. So you can literally take it anywhere, charge it up. Now, the only thing it doesn't do, it, it can't offer wireless charging like reverse power share or uh, place it on a Qi wireless charger. That may be something that may come up in some of their future devices. Hopefully, fingers crossed. But the battery life on it, that's the more, that's the thing that I'm more impressed about is that how often the battery life, you know, how much you actually get out of it. And of course, the uh, forever um, warranty on top of that as well. But overall, it's a great looking watch at a really affordable price. Would you walk away with one of these? Have you got one already? Let us know in the comments below because of course we always love hearing from you. Now if you if you're new to MMB Tech TV, here we always love to give back to you our audience and this time we are giving away one of these one of these F2 smartwatches courtesy of our friends at foreverstore.co so if you want your chance to win all you need to do is simply head over to mmbtechtv.co.uk scroll down click on the enter competition button and that is simple as that follow the on-screen instructions and you could be in with your chance to win so go ahead and go and pick one up it's uh, you could even be a winner so good luck to you get yourself involved in there and of course we still have our merchandise available as well on the website again mmbtechtv.co.uk go and head over there and go and have a look uh, but thank you very much for joining us and until next time it's bye bye for now